Hey everybody, welcome back to JMV Rock County. I'm Jay. I'm V. And today we are out with Patricia Bach, one of our subscribers. Hi y'all. And uh, she contacted us and we've uh, got together and we are up in Nancy, I guess still, right? Yes. We're still up in Nancy at a creek that she brought us to and if uh, she wants to divulge the location, she can, but... Fishing Creek. <laughs> uh, we got here and I want you to look at what... Look at that. Those are all geodes in one death plate already. We just got out of the, out of the vehicle. Let me uh, turn this around and show you. She's got one in her hand too. I lit in. <laughs> so we're gonna look around, try to hopefully find some more geodes and some fossils. And uh, let me turn this around and I'll show you what we already got. So yeah, good size geode right here and there, you know. They're geodes, and then Vicky found this uh, nice crinoid death plate. Big crinoid right there. Look how big that thing is. So, yeah, I'll give you a quick pan. Nice little gravel bar right here. And this uh, this is a creek that feeds down into Lake Cumberland. And it's a pretty area. You need a four-wheel drive to get down here to where we're at. But uh, it's definitely accessible and there's all kinds of good stuff here so we'll we'll walk around and find us some good stuff and show you guys along the way uh, there's a little geode yeah i mean i could sit here and just find all kinds of stuff. oh vicky found something part of one Yeah, there's there's some good stuff here. And I lived, me and Vicky lived up here in Nancy, not far from where we're at right now. All that time before I started being in Rockdown. And uh, that's some chert, I think. There's a piece of geode. Yeah, I mean... There's some people already down here, but it's a pretty good size little rock uh, gravel bar. So we'll uh, we'll be back. There's one right here with the, at the. Let me pick this up. Oh, a little piece of one out there just broke open. I think I'll leave that. I think I'll just walk around here around the truck and put stuff here on the bed. I think he found another piece. It's got nice crystals in it. Yep. So it's nice being able to just drive down here so, on this gravel bar. So uh, who's, where are you going? So who do you think is going to find more, me or Jeff? Considering I've already found like six and he's found none. I found all that. Hold on, you got some on your face. I found all that except for this and this. It's got some banding on it. Or is that just the way That's it just the way it's shaped. <laughs> I've, I've collected several of these at that Geo Creek and other places. Okay, I'm going back. Okay, guys, we'll be back with you. There's a nice one with some crystal showing already broke open. I guess I'll just film a little bit as I'm walking. There's a little broke open piece. If I can find some uh, pieces of coal. There's kind of a flattened piece. I don't think it's going to be any good. Yep, we can take it. Oh God, that's heavy. <clears throat> Looks like it might be some chert or something, but. I'm trying to stay right here close to the truck right now before I get my backpack on and start loading it down. I 
There's some crown oils in that. I might put this on the tailgate and if I find anything better, I might toss this one back down, but I didn't show picking this one up, but that's a little one. Already got a little pile going. There's a piece of one that's broke open. Got a handful coming up here. I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's probably a geo just maybe broke open if you clean it off. Looks like there's some crystals druzy on it. It's not very heavy though. Definitely a piece of one. Yeah, that's part of a calyx, I think. Piece of one. And there's one that somebody's already disturbed. Piece of one. It's got a hole in it. Yep. Do you want it? Take it home if you want it. Yeah. We need to bring Bucket down here and get River Rock for the rock garden. Yeah. This piece of chart right here. That's some interesting colors to it. Yeah, spider. Here's a little one. Yeah, look at that. Still not even that far from the vehicle. I see a good fossil. There's a nice little geode. Look at this for ghost. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Play him down. Look at that. She's going to, Patricia's going to frequent. I'll show her that one. Hey, Patricia, I got to get her reaction. Look around as I'm getting back here to the truck. I want to see your face when I show you this. It goes back down. Oh my gosh, cool. Look at that. That's a good one, ain't it? <laughs> that is a good one. The polyps are still in it. Yeah. <clears throat> you want it, you can keep it. 
No, you take it home, Misha. I've seen this stuff down here. I don't know how long. And just never bothered to pick it up. And then we learn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know if this is a Jasper. This. With. Chirp, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just chirp. I like that stuff, though. Actually, it's it might pretty. be. It might be a chirp geode. It sure does look like one. It wouldn't hurt to crack it open and see. Mm. It's got some crown oils in it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Lord, we got muddy rocks. <laughs> yeah. There's a geo. Little one. Might be worth cracking open to see if there's any more. Yeah. found the single cry noise sections in the gravels and they look like me. Yeah, well that's what they, I guess the Apache around here, Cherokee or Cherokee they that lived in this area, they used them, that's why they call them Cherokee beads, I think. I could be wrong about that, so if I, if I no, sound I stupid. Right on there's a little one. I think that's just a fragment of one. Let me get it there. All right, let me get uh, let me get this turned off and get back to looking. All right, so I'm gonna. I got the backpack on. I'm gonna venture away from the vehicle for a minute. Vicky, can you see her now? But she went up that road looking up this way. Patricia went that way. I'm gonna walk down here and around the uh, edge of the creek here. So let me turn this around. Uh oh, this thing's moving around. Let me, uh, if I can get very far without. Reaching down and picking something up. <laughs> we ain't hardly went nowhere. Nice chunk. Uh, it's got some interesting color to it. Take this down here and clean it off. <coughs> geode. <laughs> There's geodes all over the place. It's not as much as that uh, geode creek, but let's see if I can get this drop in my bag. Let's take this down there. It's a nice creek, though. I wish I'd known about it before when we lived up here. But even still, it's really not that far to walk up here. There's a geode. It's a nice little geode. Good sized geode. I think that is, too. Some of them are real quartzy, and some of them are, ow, you bastard. Freaking horsefly biting this crap out of me. Uh-oh. Better get away from me. I dropped that one. It didn't go in my bag. I ain't been bit by a horse fly I don't know how long. <laughs> I 
thing bit the crap out of me. Right through my shirt. I heard it land on me, but I wasn't thinking it was going to actually bite me. Especially not through the shirt. There's another geode. That one feels pretty light. Yep. It looks like one too. I think this is one. Yep. I might have to, well, I can't get them to drop in my bag. Well, heck. All right, something's not working. All right, hold on, guys. Are you recording? Yeah, I just now turned it on. How's the day? That core fly just bit the crap, crap out of me. I cussed. cussed. I was like, you old bastard. <laughs> there it is, wet. You get the tracks up here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's, our, that's the pile so far. I just picked up a couple <laughs> others off camera. That thing just bit me again. All right. Horse fly. Yeah. It's fly out there. I'll still and I'll smack it. I'll get it. Ha! Ah, I got you. Uh, well, maybe maybe he'll leave me alone now. I knocked him for a loop. <laughs> I got that on camera, too. I don't typically want to hurt things like that, but <laughs> that thing bit me three times. He he had it coming. All right, I get back, I got to get back down here to this rock that I left sitting there. If I can stop from picking up geodes. Is this thing open back there? Yes. Yeah. The one that's broke open. Might be still a good geode pocket in that. We could just pick that up. Got some nice druzy in it. I don't know if that's anything or not. There's a piece of one. And it's all broke up. What's that? It almost looks like it could have been a fossil, but maybe not. There's oh, one. There's one. So where is that piece of light down? It's over here. Uh, <coughs> phone overheated for a second there during that last clip. It's not even that hot of a day. I don't know. It's gonna start falling out of my backpack. It's part of one, but it's not that good. I heard Patricia back there say she found a bracket. Oh, look at her. Looky there. That's what I've been looking for. Some of that. It's a nice crown old stem. A piece of a geode, a little bit tiny. Look at this, how tiny that thing is. It'll be tiny geode. There's one. I'll have to look around here in this. See if I can find some more of them crinoids. There's a little geode. There's a little bit tiny one broke open. Might clean up, take it. It's cute. It's got some color to it.
I just uh, sent a message in the rock circle group. See if anybody wanted me to maybe do a live. They could have caught me finding that crinoid stem live. It's some kind of fossil, but eh. There's a piece of a geode right there. Fragment of one. That's pretty. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I see wiring. It might be some a little bit of banded chert or something. show Trisha that piece of crinoid it's a nice old chunk and still not that far from the vehicle Vicky's picking up stuff left and right Chris is over there picking stuff up left and right Yeah, that water gets a little bit deep right there. It's pretty. It'd be cool to get out on a canoe or something. Or just a boat. A little bitty tiny geode. But you've seen the ones that I found, little ones that are already broke open that even the little ones can be hollow i mean there's just pieces of them there's one that's broke open right down there let's see if i can zoom into it i'm not going to go down there and get it there's just too much to i can get without difficulty which that wouldn't be too hard to get to, but. I'm gonna have to go empty my, ooh, that's one of them cephalopods right there. Look at that, piece of cephalopod. There's some pretty good fossils here. Found a nice piece of rugosa coral. I'd like to find some honeycomb. I'm surprised I ain't found more pieces of that cr than crinoids. I think you found that death plate that had little pieces in it. And... I'm really just surprised I'm not seeing more of it though. I think it might be about time to head back to the truck and empty my... <laughs> that one's kind of cool. It's like a little double. I picked up another one off camera. It was smaller than this one, but that's kind of cool. It's really hard to you get focused on the geodes, and that's all you're looking at. Little calyx. And then you don't see the fossils and then you see a fossil and then that's what you start looking for and you don't see the geodes <laughs> it's hard to train your eyes to look at everything and see all that's available in any given area that's why when i was at the on the yellowstone it's got some druzy to it but I think I'll leave that here. 
All right, I'm not gonna kill my back. So I'm gonna start heading back to the vehicle and empty my load. There's one, there's a little one, and that one's broke open. Nah. Head back to the vehicle, empty my load. See what I can find between here and there. I'll take him along. I'll check the chat, see if anybody has responded. They want me to go live or not for just a minute. That's pretty cool. Nice old bug in that. Almost looks like it might have been a horn coral in that. I'm gonna have to spray that off. Take that with me. Oh, I think it's too flat. That's definitely a geode. Yep. We were supposed to go out with, uh, I think I said it already, with Maria, one of our other subscribers. And uh, it was supposed to rain today. Wow, well, that's just a flat chunk. Uh, and it was, it rained a little bit there at Patricia's house for just a minute, but. I mean, it's a little bit cloudy, but it ain't bad. And, uh, you know, she didn't want to drive in the rain, so that's fine. I understand that completely. We'll, we'll meet up with her at another time. I'm sure uh, there'll be a time. She's got a couple places she wants to take us to. She lives down in Tennessee. Apparently not too far. I'm not sure exactly where, but she doesn't live too far away from us. And, uh, yeah. So I'm almost back to the truck now. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and empty things out. Well, let me walk over here and show you what we got so far. <laughs> it's already a good pile of stuff. So, yeah. Let me uh, turn this off and empty my backpack. All right, look what I found. What'd you find? Oh, a smushed one and a round one. Well, actually that, that is a that cephalopod. A I'm pretty huh. sure. I could be wrong about that, but I believe that's a cephalopod. That's something different than the cryoid still. But look at that, it looks like a barrel bead. Yep. Let me take it over and show it to Vicky. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> right here by the vehicle, still. <laughs> Man, you parked us right on a bunch of them. There's another one right here that I didn't see before. <laughs> nice chunk. Yep. Let me get over here and show Vicky. Oh, wow. Looks like a smushed one. But it's something else. It's not got the same type of rings on it. It was supposed to move. Yeah. It's a, pretty sure it's a cephalopod. Cool. I'd love to get over there on those rocks and check them out. Yeah. I want to turn it off for a minute, guys. All right. I just was sitting there showing them that crinoid stem. 
taking a little bit of a break and I walked right in front of the vehicle and I got this handful of little ones plus this one right here already showing a good pocket and good crystals in it just needs to be cleaned up yeah. and then I think this is the death plate I showed a minute ago with uh, Patricia nice little death plate I didn't show this one before that's some kind of I don't know if that's a piece of horn coral in that but this rock is really light whatever that is so that was kind of cool but yeah let me go keep walking by this rock <clears throat> look at this that almost looks like it might have been a crownoid right there I don't know if that's just a I don't know. I'm going to drop it back down. Yeah. Man, there's... She parked this right on top of a hot spot because I can't even get away from the daggum vehicle without finding some pretty good geodes. There's a piece that's broke open. It's got some good crystals showing in that, so that might clean up pretty good. If I can drop it in my bag. Yep. Just keep telling me there's some fossils over here somewhere. Big pieces of chert. Look like somebody might have broke them open. That looks like a geode. Little one. A bunch of these little ones around. It's a flat one. But that's quartz at least. Tried to be a geode at one point. Look at that big one right there. That's a big geode. It feels awful heavy. I think I'll drop it in the bag. And something just came back out of the bag. I don't know what that is. It's got some color to it. I don't know. Oh. oh, there's a geode. That one's going to be hollow. I can feel it. Pieces all over the place. Let me just walk this way for a minute. I haven't really been over here. There's a nice piece. There's a whole one. There's two whole ones. And then a nice little piece. You can drop these other two in the bag and I'll show you this one. Yeah, nice crystals in that. That's one of those that's flat and it'll sit just like that. You can see them crystals good. That'll clean up nice. There's, a, there's one. Here's one that's broke open. That's got some of the snowball quartz in it. That'll be a pretty one to take. 
one that was broke. in my bag. That's got good quartz on it. That one's kind of ugly. We might be able to break it open, find some more stuff in it. Yeah. That one go. And dropped out. Is it that one? Yeah. Shoot, there's just there's stuff all over the place here. Got some nice, nice little pocket right there. Yeah. Can't even get that far away from the vehicle. There's a whole one. I mean, I still haven't even made it all the way down there. There's one. There's some. But yeah, I'm just that far away from, from the vehicle right now on this side. Let me go look at this one. It looks like a calyx. Okay, I gotta take my backpack off because stuff's just falling out of it. Let's see if I can get this one up. Oh, it's kind of flat. But I looked over here. <clears throat> and now I don't see it. Oh, there it is. That one's whole. That one's whole in the backpack. All right, look at that. That's the pile so far. <laughs> I just emptied out the backpack again. And this was that red thing I picked up a minute ago. She just sprayed it off for me. I don't know if that's really anything much of anything, but I like the colorations in it, so I'm going to take it home. I think we're going to move. Where'd you say we we're going to go? We're going to see if that's shallow enough to cross it. Oh, so she's talking about going right up there. You see a little bit of a rapid right there and crossing over onto that other bar to get on that other side. Let's see how it goes. All right. This is where we're going to try to cross. Yes. <laughs> she just found, let me see. Please. She just stepped out of the vehicle and found something. <laughs> I stepped on it. Yeah, there's, there's stuff all over the place here. I see just looking out. There's a piece. There's something out here. There's something. I'm going to have to get out and get that one. I see a couple right here by the vehicle. Pacific left the dairy rock grinder and polisher for $210. Looks like it's missing some. That looks plenty shallow enough. Yep. 
think she's gonna try to walk across it. I would do it, but she's the one driving. It's her vehicle, so she wants to uh, make sure it's safe. So. If it's only barely ankle deep, I don't see us having a problem. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff here. All right, guys, I want to turn it back off, and I might turn it back on whenever we go through this. Here we go. Gotta get out and look. <laughs> We made it through that had to move some stuff around i'm going to try to we're going to look around up in here all through here and what i'm going to do for this part is i'm going to put the camera up on the hood here facing back this way Let's see if i can get it to might have to set it up here hold on So you can see, let me see if I can see it. So this is gonna show all three of us. And I'm just gonna let it record for a little bit and you'll see us pick stuff up and I'll bring anything really cool back and show you. Flat one.
Found a geode. What?
My backpack is so full, I'm not going to carry it back here. I'm just going to drive the truck up there. All right, let me turn this off. It's been going for 20 minutes already, daggone. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, so I don't want this video to be two hours long, so I want to go ahead and stop recording down here at the creek. And what I'll do is we're going to keep looking until she's ready to go, but uh, uh, I'm sure we'll find quite a bit more. Uh, when we get back to her place and we put everything over in our vehicle, I'll show you everything. We'll do a final into the video but uh if you're watching this and you're hanging in there hey get out and enjoy yourselves yeah i mean it's just it's great meet up with people it, it's been great meeting up with patricia here maybe uh next time it'll be maria uh maybe it'll be josh carmichael or taylor again finding some kentucky agates but uh yeah leave me a comment pick a number one to five hundred you might win something all right, guys, hold on. Blue heron. Great blue heron is what that is. And that thing is probably at least three four hundred yards away i've got it zoomed all the way in so we can see it yeah they're big birds i think they stand like three foot tall at least two and a half three foot tall if not taller probably five six foot wingspans i ain't gonna be five six six i had one fly up and my truck went behind me it's a few that's what we got in this that's a pile there's some scattered back in there but uh yeah we gotta move all that over to there <laughs> so let's uh go ahead and flip it around and get this video ended and found this thing actually uh Patricia found this, actually, but it's got some fossil impressions and looks like uh, crinoids. And uh, I don't, I'm going to reach in my pocket here and grab some of the stuff because some of it's so small, it's going to be hard to get out. But we stopped at another creek on the way out. And look, <laughs> all kinds of crinoid stuff. Eagle eyed jay. <laughs> so let me turn this around and i want to end this up hey guys thanks for watching and uh it's been an awesome trip and i do appreciate patricia having us up and taking us out we had a blast going out there crossing the river and uh well creek really fishing creek and finding all kinds of geodes and fossils and all kinds of stuff and i'm sure this won't be the last video we do and uh you guys will be seeing this she's she's going to be watching it herself yep. <laughs> leave us a comment <laughs> a like and a comment and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed hey give us a chance and subscribe to us thanks guys i'm jay 
I'm B. And she's Patricia. <laughs> See y'all later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.